Hello everyone, my name is Om Sangasa. So today we're gonna talk about the Android Recycler View again. In this video, I will uh, talk about how to connect data and get the data from uh, database server. And I will use PHP and MySQL and to connect to the uh, web server and database server, we need a library and I will use uh, Volley and also I will show you how to convert the data from MySQL to JSON okay? because Android cannot read uh, the database from the MySQL we have to the, convert it to uh, JSON first so it's gonna be a very long video but maybe I will cut it in uh, you know like two or three parts okay and this is my YouTube channel and this is my Facebook, Kusol Geek, Twitter and GitHub and particularly you will use one of my library from Kusol Geek okay. uh, GitHub here so in the previous videos I talk about the process here from 1 to 7 the most difficult part is number 5 so I uh, will you know cover this like uh, how to get the data the real data from here okay so to connect to the network we have uh, some process we will connect to uh, you know like a PHP server like uh, Apache server then Apache will connect to the database MySQL and you will get a data back and send back to the Android and this process is not for Android itself uh, you can do that in uh, iPhone or Windows phone also it's the same process and let me talk a little bit about the network connection uh, there are a history there are histories about that you know like before uh, Android 3 you can connect to the network in the main thread but after that, you're gonna use another library it's called Axing Task, and you will need these two library URL connection and IDP client. And then the Axing Task has a problem because it has it is asynchronous. It's only one one thing happen at one time. Uh, imagine you have a long list of um, maybe images you want to upload or maybe download. You're gonna um, you know like spend a very long time to to complete the task the whole task so volley is another um, library introduced by google so volley usually considered like a volleyball but actually it's about uh, shooting arrows at the same time many arrows at the same time it's like uh, multitasking you know like at one time you can uh, do many things okay and one simple class of the volley is called string request you're gonna need a request method post and get to the server and then the server will um, respond back if there is an error will uh, get the error back okay so you have four parameters for string request and if you have this you don't have the error okay if you have the error you don't have this okay and then after you get the, the data the data will be in JSON text you will uh, convert to the uh, object okay you have to have a class that have the field uh, exactly mapping to this one it doesn't have to be the same but um, because I use my library and the library use JSON the JSON need um, your your field your your you know like the attribute here uh, the name has to be the same to this one text like this and the IMG has to be IMG like that and then you put into the array list okay so that whole process here is in the one two three here okay okay let me go to the uh, Android but before that maybe I want to introduce my 
uh, channel this is my channel and if you are looking for the first second and third one you should go to down here upload you will see this and this is my um, you know Facebook page please like it and for the code uh, please download from here if you want to continue from this uh, lesson but if you are trying to, to do that from the beginning maybe start from the first one okay so this is the source code it's the same to this one so the previous one oh I didn't run it yet so let me run it uh, it has some problem all the time now with the emulator let me close it after I update it it has some problem because it complained that my virtual box uh, version is lower than the Jenny motion I'm not sure why but I think this is part of the reason uh, maybe I have to pause of the video a little bit okay um, I'm not sure why but I have to fix it maybe later but now I can run it um, so in the previous previous video I um, did the you know the data I got the data like I just generated so in this video I uh, will show you how to do that but it's a long process like you uh, saw I, I told you in the PowerPoint slide and you need some other tool as well and I suggest you if you want to understand um, the Android volley uh, very deeply maybe you should go to my channel and uh, looking for the I think Android volley somewhere yes here okay it's a very long process okay but let me assume that you you already know that because without any assuming I will just repeat my video again so I'm not gonna do that so first you need another tool so do you have WAM okay uh, on Windows okay and for me I use them okay on Mac this is the first tool and you need to know PHP and MySQL okay and I will show you some codes and I, I already did it so I will not write it again you gotta make some uh, you know make the video very long and the JSON yeah the JSON uh, I will I will talk about how to convert the PHP uh, the database to the JSON okay so first you need this so let me go to this and if you don't have that please stop the video and go to the internet and download it and there is a permission as well uh, for them and when usually when you oh, sorry there is some phone ringing sorry about that so now let's talk back about this so this is the previous one okay and we got the data from the internet as well the image here so you need this and usually you you will have a problem with a permission um, you have to go to Apache and configs here and open config file and down here somewhere yeah where is it? Okay, like request all granted, you have to put like that, but I forgot which one. But usually, when you have some problem, like you cannot connect from uh, emulator. You need to change this to granted or uh, required or granted like that. Okay, uh, I think it should be this one. Yeah. 
uh, if you see like require uh, like permission denied like that so you have to change to require or granted then you can connect from uh, uh, this one if you use the real server you don't have to fix that okay but for now I will show you how to connect from the Android to a local host here okay and the port here is 80 if you have another port so make sure you, you put another port as well I will show you in the code okay and this is my local host let's see the database I have a database uh, you can use any this one maybe product here image okay this one is a good one um, let's see the structure so please create a, a, a table inside a database like that customer if you want to follow along my video so the database name is customer and inside that is TBL product and this one is the primary key and auto increment and the name watcher quantity integer price slot image URL watcher and user ID and then you should uh, add some data like that and this one I think is in the customer folder where is it here so inside the customer I have IMG this is my image imagine it is the real one okay so you should name like that um, if you have a space it's fine but it's gonna have some problem when you read that so you have to know how to deal with the space you know but at first I suggest you to put the name like that and make sure you open the you know like the extension if you are on Windows you should open it in like um, you know somewhere in Windows Explorer the option to show the uh, extension because PNG, GPEG and GPG is different so you make sure that the, the real URL is exactly the same okay and the database is from, from the image and from the folder IMG okay and this is the, the data and then where is it this one and you need only two files just to read the data from uh, the first is connection and you are free to use any uh, browse uh, any text editor but if you are using note uh, notepad plus plus you're gonna have one problem um, it's about the converting I usually uh, encountered two uh, two problem here and you will encounter that as well first is permission uh, forbidden from the from WAM or ZAM like I told you you have to open that in the configuration file here okay and over here okay and another one is the JSON format like like no, malform format right this because um, the text the PHP text is not UTF-8 um, okay so you have to convert that to the UTF-8 and if you are using Notepad++ uh, normally you you will have this problem so I suggest you to uh, convert it or maybe just simply use like the blank tag or bracket I use bracket I don't have any problem like that okay and the server name is localhost the username is root and password no password and the customer is the database name and I use my SLI connect like that and then I, I have another one what is it is the product yeah this product so I include it okay and I just uh, select all the data PID name quantity price and make like that from TBL product order by because I want the 
the latex item in, at the first row. Okay, if you don't do that, it's like uh, always show the first the first item the number zero. But the newest is at the the bottom. It's not it's not good. And here you get the data, and while you are looping, you send to an array. Okay, you declare an array here, and the text. Um, sorry, the, the object in the array is like, okay, the data, PID, name, quality, like that. You're going to convert it after the while. You can convert it to the JSON encode. So all the text will convert it to the JSON. So PHP have this beautiful uh, method, JSON encode. You're going to encode any array to the JSON. Okay, so let's see it. So it is inside the uh, what is it? Customer, yes. Okay, so all the text here, um, like the data here become JSON. Okay. But one thing I have uh, to to know that if your data have like a single quote or double quote or slash or something like that, you have to convert it because it gonna have a, a conflict with this, okay? And if you like, imagine you have like, let's say this, okay, and then the data like ID, uh, maybe name, better. and then you have another another uh, quote like that. So what is the problem, right? So you have to to change it, and I'm I'm not gonna teach you that, but. It's very easy, it's like HTML, uh, special character, PHP, like that, okay? And maybe you just decode. Then you're gonna decode any special uh, character, okay? Uh, these two things happen all the time, so be aware of that. Now, you have the, um, the JSON, okay? I told you already how to convert them. Okay, in my slide, yeah. Um, from the PHP to the JSON now already done, and I will upload the the source code here, and the database as well. Okay, and now it's time to to, to convert the JSON to the Aurelis object. Okay. So we need to have the volley, and then you need volley. So just call Android volley. So in this video, I think uh, I just uh, can all can maybe set up the volley. Okay, because the time is like eighteen minutes already. So to set it up, you go to Android volley like that, and see some document from Android. And the second one is the library. Okay, and you go to setting up request queue. So you can add any uh, request. It's like this base request, basic string, JSON array, JSON object. There are many things. Okay, this is the request. And but first, maybe it's a good idea to add it. Okay, just add, where is it? This one. Okay, you go to Gradle, and add it here. Sing now. Okay, it's good to go. So you, you wanna test it, maybe because you're gonna get the data before uh, you're gonna use the uh, recycler view here. So the data should be around here. Um, so maybe let, let, let's use this because we're gonna use the generate dummy. But maybe we're gonna make another method. Let's say Rayleigh again. But this time we don't have the uh, we don't need the item because the item is another thing. Uh, because in our database, let's see our database here. 
here is a byproduct okay so we have to make another another class you know for for this one so but it's gonna take some time so let let me just uh, make it in another video just let the test it if the volley is already here or not okay so just call volley yes it's already here and string request yes okay one more thing for Android uh, for yeah Android volley is like remember when you have the uh, you know image here uh, imagine you have in a you know like a wall you cannot have two commanders you can only have one commander or maybe one king one king will uh, will command give a command to the whole team because like the king or a commander can have a good strategy like maybe a horse will go first like a knight okay and maybe a soldier on foot uh, will go after and the arrow shoot if maybe like at the same time that the horse will go at some point and then suddenly another commander call um, the you know the anchor was it the archer, yeah, the, 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 the shooter, shoot to the air and then maybe it will hit our, our horse, okay, our knight. So we cannot do that. That's why an Android volley introduced this uh, pattern it's called singleton. The singleton is the, like a mechanism to make sure that it has only one object, one command, okay, one commander in the field, okay. So even though request queue here can be created like that, but I I'm not gonna suggest you uh, to do that, and even Android uh, suggests you to use this uh, pattern. Okay, so you you will need this code. So just copy the code like this. Okay, and let's call my single tone. And the name must be exactly the same to the name of this class because the Java class and the Java file name has to be the same. Delete and pass. Okay. And you have one error here. Control space and you can choose the support version 4. You want to support the older version. Okay. And make sure you have the Android manifest here, the internet uh, connection inside okay so now you are good to go to call the my singleton so my singleton okay and then add the request queue okay this is the, the setting up the, the android volley and you're gonna have a lot of things like how to uh, convert the json to the uh, arrays and then get the data and then put into the uh, you know like the recycler view but it's gonna take uh, more time so i will cut to this point and i uh, will see you in the next video thank you